potentially how far away it is, that's a little bit of a... Um... Both any kind of B-Box has two compartments, one front, one back with a divider. So ideally it's on a tip and then I fetch it with the flower. Mm -hmm. Did you see how I did it? Mm -hmm. And then I open it up and oh, she's in there. Thank God you got her back. Well, it's her sister. So now... <laughs> and the idea is to fetch bees off flowers or feed uh, water feeding stations uh, with this side to close it and then expose them to light. Here's a little piece of glass in there. Once they're in this on the right side, we can close the, the divider and start all over until we have about six to eight bees in here. What is this called? I don't know what that one is. Uh, little things in life, right? No, it really is. Especially when you just hike to the top of the... So now I want to mark... Okay, hmm. red. Is it identified? Yes. All right. We can mark two reds? Oh, thorax. So we have a red thorax and a red abdomen, okay? No. Why not go straight down on them and then tell me when? Okay. Slide yeah, go slowly. <laughs> and just slide this, slide this off. And then yeah, you have to open it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that part. One and a little gnat. You tell me when they're all up there. Uh, ready? And then uh, we have to time it. Okay. Here we go. One. See one going that way. Going that way. This is an orange abdomen. Orange abdomen arrived at 12:24. We found it. You did. You're such good bee liners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's for you? Duck fur. Duck 